All right, honeys, it's going down. It is cheat day. What's up, honey? Hi. Are you ready for today? I am ready. Today is another episode of Eating Our Best Life Takeout Edition. Exactly, guys. I'm so excited. I know you guys are too. It is one of our most popular series on YouTube, Eating Our Best Life. I'm Mike. And I'm Lauren. And today, like my wife just said, we are doing takeout at one of our favorite restaurants in the area. It's going to be... Over Easy Kitchen. Exactly. And these guys are famous for brunch in the area. And during uh, COVID and during uh, the quarantine, we ha have ordered with them so many times. And now we're going to introduce them to you guys. I know you guys are going to be so excited uh, to watch and eventually try yourself. So get ready, guys. Another episode of Eating Our Best Life. Okay, honey. So since this is takeout edition, it's time to order, guys. Okay. So we are on our trusty DoorDash app. Oh, my goodness. This is DoorDash. Over Easy Kitchen. Mm. Okay, so what are we gonna do first? I want to do their. Um, it's like the a box. summer 2020 box series. Yes. They have a few different versions of these. Okay. Okay, so which box do we want? I want to do the uh, butcher box because there's like five or four different sandwiches with like a bunch of fries in the middle. Um, you get a little bit of everything. Bacon cheeseburger with lettuce, tomato, onion, grilled steak sandwich, buttermilk fried chicken sandwich and french fries okay add that to order let's go back you also want your favorite right i definitely want my favorite which is a chicken cutlet sandwich it is called demich demich but you want french fries instead of the side salad yes we're gonna get french fries and any of this extra food is definitely going towards the people behind the screen uh, so everyone is definitely gonna be happy today. behind the camera <laughs> okay and then that's a lot of food already but wait they have beverages here Ooh, let's see. I, I, I don't know, honey. This is your, your warehouse All right, here. Um, lavender lemonade. What was that other drink I wanted to have? Iced matcha latte. Yes. What do you call it? The iced matcha latte. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what he it is? He calls it that, and then when I sent him into a place, he actually says that, and no one knows what he's talking about except for his wife. That's not what it is? It's an iced matcha latte. What did you call it? Ice Laka Matcha. Yeah. I think, I, but anyways, it's fine. Okay, um, and then you like an Arnold Palmer, so I'm gonna try that. They call it the OE5050. So that's half lemonade and half iced tea? Yep. Okay. And then we will do the famous, what is that called? The famous lemon ricotta pancakes for dessert. Okay. There we go. Well, it's happening. There you had it. Press continue for delivery. Orders placed. Orders placed. It's happening, guys. Another episode of Eating Our Best Life. Let's go. Oh my God, cheat day is here! <laughs> yes! Oh my God, I've been working out and dieting all weekend and actually all week. And I'm so excited that cheat day is finally here. Me too. I will starve for this spread. This uh, car these carbs are what I call worth it carbs. I don't know, but it like, there's like a reward system that goes off in Ooh. your brain when you're eating like this. But I mean, just look at this box guys. This is unbelievable. Um, we are so excited that we called one of our local favorites in the building. There's one over easy in Homedale and also one in Marlboro, right? Yes. And I think they're building out another other a Fair couple. Haven. Fair Haven's, yeah. Yeah, cool. over easy is the best. We love them. We love the owners. We are friends with them and we've been dining at their restaurant since they opened a few years ago in Marlboro. And then their second location is in our town. There will be a third one in Monmouth County. So we are very excited. And this is the, but the butcher this box? This is Over Easy's Butcher Box. And it has a cheeseburger, mm -hmm. bacon cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. It has bacon lettuce, tomato bacon cheeseburger. Oh my goodness. Burger. Two fried chicken sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And a steak sandwich. Steak sandwich. With cheese. And I also ordered a Demich sandwich. Your favorite sandwich. My favorite sandwich. Comes with a huge box of fries. 
Um, this right here is pretty much living, living, your best living life. your best life. And for me, you know it is not complete unless I have three beverages. This is how I like to dine out. My husband makes fun of me. But if you are doing takeout from home to feel like I'm in a restaurant, I like to do multiple beverages. So I'm getting the full dining experience. Mm -hmm. What do you got there? What home. do you got there? So we have Over Easy is a breakfast, brunch, lunch joint. So I of course did a nice morning drink, which is a matcha iced latte with almond milk. Then I am trying their lavender lemonade because it just sounds like mm -hmm. heaven. Nice. And then I also am trying their 50-50, which is half iced tea, half lemonade, which right. I also love. On Let a me try day. that one. Let me try that one. The good old Arnold Palmer. All right, anyway, before we get the party started, um, just took my third drink. Anyways, before you guys want to get this party started, if you want to get a close up of me just cracking the diet soda, okay? It's happening. Okay. <laughs> oh, that um, sound, I hear that sound in the middle of the night. I know something's up. Someone's, someone's cheating. I love me a good diet soda, and especially on cheat day, this is how it's going down. That noise echoes through the house when you do it. All right, honey. It's like a signal of festivities have begun. How, uh, is there a method to this madness to attacking such a box? No, so when you're like this level of a cheat day, you're mm. just gonna go in. Exactly, I agree. I, yeah, okay. All right, honey, I'm going right for the Demetrius sandwich right here, you which is one Demetra. of my favorite sandwiches. This is a chicken cutlet on Italian breads. And I'm also gonna go with the- Steak sandwich. The steak sandwicher. Okay, I'm gonna also load up wow. on some French fries, past the French fries. This is how it, listen, if you're not doing cheat day like this, you're not doing cheat day. I mean, and I'm gonna grab myself a little bit of, what is this, a spicy mayo, mayonnaise? Mm, spicy it? mayo is where it's at. What's happening? All right, so this, All right, that's you made such a wonderful plate. Can you make one for me? Of course. Uh, I'll what do are we a going? fried chicken sandwich. Definitely, that is definitely in your wheelhouse. You're a, you're a big fried chicken sandwich. Oh my God, this looks so good. I might have to grab one of those. Wait, did you show them that side though? Look at that. Wow. This is, this is living your best life. Anyway guys, where this is eating our best life, would you like some french fries? I'll do a few french fries. If you guys are, a few french fries is not a double Listen, you, 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 got, you got to taste the, uh, the rainbow here. So, um, yeah. Anyway. I could start with that. Would you like some ketchups? A little ketchup? Oh, no, no ketchup. I'm not into ketchup. No ketchups. Well, Fun fact, I don't like ketchup. All right, spicy mayonnaise? Spicy mayo, yes. Okay, there you go, honey. All right, guys. It's okay. going down, guys. Um, we're going to check gonna out the big boy butcher now. box from Over Easy. Oh. This is not the first time we're eating at Over Easy, and we pretty much know everything that they have is fire. Okay, just to let you guys know, we have dessert cooling in the fridge right now, which is lemon regatta pancakes, which Whoa. are just unbelievable, guys. So right now, if you guys are in the area, definitely check out Over Easy. Um, and if you visit the area, check out Over Easy. Bottoms up, guys. Look at that. Look at that. It's happening, guys. Eating our best life. Let's go. Quality sandwich. Guys, there's a pickle on this sandwich. It's fried chicken, pickle, spicy mayo, and I think sauteed onions, and it is heaven in my mouth. Wow. Cheat day has never tasted so good, guys. Oh my God. I can tell you right now, these guys are gonna get a high score. Oh my God. Right? These guys are gonna get a high score. They all, may be record breaking today. Record all, breaking on the takeout. All series. their stuff is fire. I mean. I just have to keep eating. Honey, you gotta try this sauce. These fries and the it's sauce. It's on this sandwich. Oh. Mm. The sauce. Even Mosey wants it on the action right now. No way. We can't. Mosey has a sensitive stomach. Mosey cannot have any table food. He will be violently ill. Fries are good. I didn't try the fry. Let me go in for the fry. Fries are good. They're good, right? And to be honest, fries guys. Fries are good. Um, this right here is a chicken called sandwich. It's called the Demet sandwich. And it's just one of my favorite sandwiches. You can't go wrong with a good chicken called sandwich. I mean. Yeah, I mean, you, you can. Unfortunately it's guys. favorite in life. Right now you guys are excluded for chicken cutlet night, but you guys can go to Over Easy yourselves and make it happen guys. Yeah, if you're local and you need to check it out. The best thing about their chicken cutlet sandwich is that they put like this 
I don't know if it's like a marinade or a dressing. It probably says it on the menu. Like an aioli? But it's like an aioli, but it's so friggin' good. It is really good. And then they put a little bit of arugula on it, which is my favorite green. The bread is really good too. And we didn't even call them and let them know that the situations were calling and we were doing a show <laughs> on their uh, food, but they're getting a high score anyhow because we know their food is fire. This will be a pleasant surprise to them. Uh huh. Because we did this last minute, honestly. We love them. I would have liked to give them the heads up, but mm, it'll be a surprise. Very true. Well, again, we do an honest review here of the Situations YouTube channel called Eating Your Best Life. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't seen any of our earlier episodes, go check them out. I don't even want to go to the next sandwich yet because I want to finish this. I'm going to have to try that myself right now. But I'm a big fan of this chicken cold sandwich with fries and this spicy manners. Mm. I don't know, there's just nothing like a fried chicken, crispy, with a crunch of a pickle in between a bun. I love that combo. Let me see what all this madness is about. Let me mm. taste this. Let me see what all this madness is about. Because we're opposite But guys. I'm getting to the best part. Please, please, please. She's Capricorn, I'm Cancer. We'll see if uh, she's correct. You might need to start with a new one. Oh, here, have this other half. Well, have the whole other half. Go on that one. You've got to get the pickle. I think I ate the pickle fine. already on that. I'll be honest, the, I really like the choice of bun here. Get the pickle bite, though. Okay, hold on. Because that's like a, such a great bite. Okay, Mrs. Situation wants to let you guys know not to miss the pickle <laughs> on your bite. So, I'm going to do what she says here. Happy wife is a happy life, and we're going to go. I see it. Definitely a quality chicken sandwich. Definitely, everything here is quality. But how is it compared to this chicken sandwich? The cutlet, it's totally different. You can't do can't a- Can't compare, apples You can't compare, a, a, yeah, exactly. It's apples to oranges. You can't do a chicken cutlet sandwich to some sort of, this type of chicken sandwich. But it's awesome because I love the bread on this, but I also love it on the chicken cutlet because of the harder bread. It seems like an Italian bread or almost like a French bread. A baguette. Mm-hmm. See, this is really good, too. I'm just a sucker for the other one, though. I really am. Oh, my God. All right, let's try the drinks. You're doing your diet soda. I like the full dining experience. I like when the restaurant can supply via takeout, entrees, mm -hmm. beverages, and dessert. Because then I don't have to do anything. Well, also, guys, just so that we can take a mental note, a lot of this extra food here is not going to waste. We have a bunch of people behind the camera, social distancing, clamoring at the mouth to get their hands on this food as well. So, just a fun fact. Clamoring. Clamoring. It's new I'm gonna word for try the day. this. I never tried this lavender lemonade from there. It's good. Let me see. It's really good. Sometimes these things are not good because it's like too overpowering. But that's like just the very right light. amount. It's, it's very light. It's it's a very light lavender flavor. It's not where you're like, wow, I'm really eating. I'm gonna stick to my cutlet or sandwich here. Very refreshing. Like I want to drink this sitting outside. We should have ate outside today. Well, I'll be honest. I feel like this show should now be called the situations versus food because of all this food that we have. I mean, this is a lot of food today, but. Yo, Mosey is aggressively trying to get this right now. Hashtag challenge accepted because we're gonna do our best to eat this and hand this out to everyone behind the screens here. All right, should we do the burger? If you, you would got, like you to. You gotta do the burger. Try the burgers. Oh my God. This is like the size of me. I have to cut it in half and then we'll do. It's gonna take a minute. Well, I'll be honest, I, I see our boy Danny behind the screens. He's clamoring at the bit for this chicken sandwich. So, I'm gonna try to hand it to him in the napkins. Okay, I'm gonna finish this one off. While, Danny, I'm gonna hand that. you this chicken sandwich so you can take home to the missus. Here you go, my dude. Sharing is caring, guys. There you go, brother. Look at that sandwich. Oh my God. <laughs> 
All right, seems that we've done sort of a dent here on the butcher's box, right? It's called the butcher's box, butcher's box. What is that? The chicken sandwich, you're still eating the chicken? Obviously. <gasps> no, that? did he get it? Oh my God, Mosey oh, oh my just God. jumped on the table. Oh my God, Mosey never does no, that. No, he never does that. He just tried to steal the chicken sandwich from Uncle Lazy. Quarantine has been really making Mosey think he is like the king of the world because we don't leave the house. We snuggle with him 24 seven. He lays on my treadmill when I try to work out. He just is like, I've taken over 2020. It's all about me now. And he won't accept that the food is not for him. Yeah, but he has his own food. Unfortunately. He can't, Mosey, no. Unfortunately, he has to watch just like you guys as well. So, anyhow, how was the, did you get to the burger yet, honey? No, I had to finish, I had to finish that off. Guys. I work out every single day, mm -hmm. as does my super fit, sexy husband. <laughs> I also abstain or try my best to abstain from carbohydrates. Seriously, like I work really hard that when I'm going to have a cheat meal, I need to enjoy it to like the fullest extent. It's like a release almost. So that's yeah. why I, yeah, I had to finish off my half of that chicken sandwich because it was just that friggin' good. It could not go to waste. I pretty much ate my whole cutlet sandwich. I gave the other half to Danny, our cameraman. Danny's going home with a full assortment of sandwiches today. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, when you're done with that, I'll hand you your, your half. All right, hold on, I'm about to be done with it. Already on soda number two, okay? Mm-hmm and only one sandwich in. This is the bacon cheeseburger with bacon, lettuce, tomato, the BLT cheeseburger. Wow, look at that. From Over Easy. That's big. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my God, it also, yeah, it has the onion. That would be wow. part of it. All right. Okay. Ready? Let's try it. I need to be. I have to get some lettuce in, in my bite because I'm a big fan I of, know, and I don't of like lettuce the, and mayo. I don't like iceberg. I'd rather have arugula. <clears throat> okay. For total opposite. Let's try it, honey. Hold on. Wow. For good luck. Okay. I like the choice in bread because you can get through the, the bread. The bread's delicious. Mm -hmm. The burger is delicious. The red onion is delicious. I could do without the lettuce, but that's just like, I'm not a lettuce person. No matter what sandwich you put it on, it's not gonna be for me. I got a little bite of the uh, of the bacon. Oh, I didn't get that bacon yet. And I, on the contrary, if that's the word, love the lettuce. Mm -hmm. Love lettuce. Because we're opposites. We are. The bacon at Over Easy is really good too. It's like very unique. They they only do the smoky bacon, right? And they, they sometimes they candy their bacon too. I think, right? No, that's Kitchen Witch. Oh, okay. That's another place we'll take you to. It's a local joint, though. So I apologize in advance if you guys are not here. But if you do ever venture to Monmouth County, New Jersey, yeah, you have to go to Over Easy. It's literally one of our favorite spots. If we're dining out, it's at one of three places, and yep. Over Easy is one of yep. those. <laughs> um, I'm actually feeling this burger. It's a pretty good burger. Uh-huh. It is really good. It's like, I like a fresh burger. What? This is also, I got I don't mean to cut you off, but this is also the perfect box for a cheat day. I mean, come on. It's got everything you need. It's got everything you guys need. I mean, it's got the ketchups. It's got the spicy mayonnaise. It's got a mountain full of fries. There's about three or four different types of sandwiches. Yeah. And for good measure, we ordered the uh, lemon ricotta of pancakes for dessert, so. Yeah, and they have them on their menu now under like dessert, so it's a thing now. We used to just do that when they first opened, like have that as dessert, but now it's like a thing. Well. Um, also, I love a fresh burger like this because as you all know, if you watch season one of Eating Our Best Life, I am not super into fast food. Mm -mm. So when I want to have a burger, like this is what I'm expecting when I want a burger, which is hence you why mean what I you can't. You mean what you prefer? Yeah, if I'm going to splurge and like have a burger, like I'm going to damn have a really you, good, yeah, you prefer juicy, to have that. fresh burger and not some 
Well, I'm almost, Smushed, I'm almost, I'm there. almost done with my half. So, don't try to besmudge my favorite fast food restaurants, anyhow, because. How can you compare this to that? You cannot, but. Facts. It brings back. Because they're not even in the same game. They're not. They're apples and oranges, and there's some sort of nostalgia that happens when you eat at some of these fast food joints mm. that, that maybe I had when I was younger. That's all. But. We have upped our game on season two of Eating Our Best Life. It's it was just, in my contract. It's guys. just facts. <laughs> Well, obviously you guys can see that I am eating my best life and I'm going on to the steak sandwich. Wait, do I have anything on my face? Uh, just happiness. <laughs> oh, wow. Got you. <laughs> um, wow. I'm a big fan of, these, of the spicy mayonnaise. I really am. Me too. All right, honey. Grab yeah. the steak sandwich. Can you get it for me? Okay. It seems that we're doing a real big dent here. The steak sandwich looks really good. Oh um, it seems we have an extra burger, but we're gonna give that to our cameraman because we have just tried this burger sandwich. No. Honey, because we have a plate full of fries, we have to give Danny some fries. Yeah. So, um, Danny, let's take away mm -hmm. some fries here. This, um, we'll get, and there you go. So now, we'll put that over there on the table. And now we have the last sandwich to try and then we'll do de we'll do the desserts afterwards this is a good provolone cheese good steak sandwich you want provolone melted all over it really so this is a steak sandwich right honey oh yeah on semolinas it looks like i love semolinas, semolinas. and um tell them what semolinas is if they don't know that i have no idea what semolinas <laughs> is <laughs> But it's semolinas a, is an Italian bread made with semolina flour Ooh. instead of like regular white flour or whatever they usually use. And then you could usually get it seeded or unseeded. So this is seeded semolina. I think so. All right, the steak sandwich. Let's go. Very good. That is very good. Uh, you know what? And I'm not a big steak sandwicher. These guys can't do anything, you know, wrong actually. Uh -uh. So we had a great idea to do over easy cheat day. And it's also a local favorite of ours. And now you guys know about it too. Provolone was like my favorite cheese as a child, which is very weird because it's like really sharp. But when I eat it, it like reminds me of my childhood. Really good purple and cheese. Is that weird? Um, it. no, honey, it's not. It's not. Okay. It, anyway. The real question is, did we save enough room for dessert? We sure did. We sure did. We did. There's always room for dessert because you go from savory to sweet. And to be honest, with that box and how big it was, I'm telling you, I don't know if this was eating our best life today. This could have been, like I said, situations versus food. <laughs> Maybe it's my next series, I don't know. Are we transferring into a new series? Maybe. We're doing the I most these heard days. Heard it here first. This is really good. This is all really good. I need a breather. I need a breather. We have to prepare the dessert, honey. All right. We have to get the pancakes out dessert of- Dessert time out of the refrigerators and you it's put time. put it in the fridge? I put the uh, whipped cream in the fridge. Oh. I, and I think I just took it out. So I thawed a little bit. <laughs> Guys, we are back with Eating Our Best Life and we are doing the scores right now for Over Easy, a local restaurant and one of our favorites. I exactly know what score I'm gonna give these guys. These guys, uh, everything that they do is fire. I mean, that box is perfect for cheat day. We are about to go into dessert, mm. and one of my favorite pancakes at Over Easy is the Lemon Regatta Pancakes. They are no joke, okay? Um, and this is perfect for cheat day. Um, and what is this? Is that jelly honey on, on the bottom? Do we even know what that is? <laughs> so there, 
Their lemon ricotta pancakes have like a berry, uh, it's like blueberry and a strawberry yep. compote like yep. in the batter. Okay. And then they smother it on top. And then they give you, as you can see, a heaping pile of like fresh homemade whipped butter. Look at this. It's like sweet butter. It's happening. Okay. They're literally the best pancakes you'll ever have in your life. Okay, so I'm gonna get down to business and... I'm just gonna take this plate. I'm just gonna let you guys know right now that before I even taste this, because I know this is fire, these guys are getting a 12 on a scale of one to 10 from BDS. And do you know what that means? That means you guys should go there or you should probably order there because it's one of our favorite restaurants in the area, in Monmouth County. They have one restaurant in Homedale, one restaurant in Marlboro, and I think they're building another in, you said Fairfield? <laughs> Anyway, he's not. He doesn't know town. Is it Fairfield? Fairhaven. Fairhavens. Anyhow. It's nowhere near Fairfield. Okay. I don't even know where Fairfield is, but Listen. it's not in Monmouth County. Goodness. Fairhaven's like next to Rumson or part of Rumson, kind of. Good Evan. Anyway. Pancakes and fire still. I concur. I would give a twelve, a solid twelve solid, out of ten. Solid twelve. Solid twelve out of ten, and just because they're that good, and mainly for me because they covered every category for them to have like multiple beverages I ordered. Like I ordered three beverages. You you didn't order because, of, you didn't give them a 12 because of the beverages, please. No, but part of it is, part of it is like presentation and part what, of it, part of what it, you can deliver. Is that so what you're trying I to say is diversity? Exactly. I diversity. don't want just one amazing meal. I want great beverages. I want great food and an excellent dessert. And that's what Over Easy does. Well, these guys are one of the best in the biz that do best brunch. Best to do it. To, that does brunch right, right? Best. But they just started doing dinners too, right? Mm -hmm. Right, recently? Mm -hmm. Listen. So because of COVID, they just started doing dinner. But I don't know, you have to check DoorDash because I think maybe they're only doing early dinner on the weekends now. And during the week, it's their normal hours where they close at 3 p.m. because they originated as a brunch mm -hmm. breakfast spot. Well, so you'll have to check it out and see what their hours are when you watch this. More of the story is these guys do it right, guys. Yes. It's the best. Tell them we sent you. All right. Well. Until next time. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Eating Our Best Life with Mike. And Lauren. See you guys next week. I'll be here eating my pancakes. <laughs> we got a situation. Share, like, and subscribe.